Hello everyone. Hi there. Um, it's single shadow time. My daughter Magpie has stolen my chair. She may decide to run up here. Um, I will not be able to stop her. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. These are, this is my entire single eyeshadow collection. I have these two big adept palettes. This is the 88 pan. This is the 63. And then I have like a 24 pan color pop palette. This 12 pan gimme glow, which is for the bigger, like the 36 millimeter shadows. And these two, I got them off of Amazon. So I have, I just looked at my inventory. I have 231 single eyeshadows in my collection right now and I feel like that's a lot especially because I n have my favorites and I use them consistently so um I have this one on top because this is my Cleona shadows um I'm doing this with natural light by a window and I have a ring light beside me because I wanted to hopefully be able to show a lot of these beautiful shades um if anyone is interested in a like in-depth video about my cleona shadows like swatches and stuff like that let me know i'm not going to be getting rid of any of them obviously pride and joys very expensive so thankful to have them i love them so much so this is kind of what everything else is going to be compared against this is the this is the good stuff. This is it. So, let's see. I'll leave it sitting over here. You can kind of see it in between the tripod. <laughs> I'll leave it sitting right there. Um, so I can kind of keep it in mind. Now, this palette, normal, for the rest of these, I have them organized by brand for the most part. This one is my iridescent palette, though. This has the Iridescent Chameleons from Terra Moons up here until right here. And then these are just some regular Terra Moons, like, duochromes. Um, and then these down here are the Divina Halo Moon shadows. I'm also going to be keeping all of these. And I want to try to show you them up close. Ooh, that... That one is flashing like crazy. If you can hear the birds outside my window, they have been loud all day. Um, I hope it adds to the ambiance. Very, ooh, look at that. Very beautiful. I use iridescent multichromes basically every single time I do my makeup. On my brow bone, on my inner corner, layer it over everything. Iridescent multichromes are my everything. You can see the significant dips in a lot of these. Um, I love them. So, I will remember this one enough. I don't think I need to keep it open, but we'll keep it over here. This is my JD Glow Shadows. And I've had these, most of these are, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six. Those six... Um, were, are the oldest single shadows in my collection. They're the first ones that I purchased. And now I have, oh, and also this one too. So I guess, did I purchase seven at first? Yes, I got seven at first and then I kind of added the rest of them. I had more, but I have already decluttered some of them. Um, this is 365, um, Lemon Lime? Yes. Um, unexpected, hey poppy, uh, <laughs> aka sprung, anomaly, insane, prismatic, watermark, blue avenue, blue avenue, and this is good God. Now, some of these, I like how they all fit in here, but some of these I don't really use. Like, AKA I've had for a long time. And I don't know if you can see, it's basically completely brand new. 
I've only used it a couple of times. I feel like it's not as special as the other Galaxy shadows are. Um, and if I'm being honest about keeping only things that I love and want to regularly use, I need to give up the aesthetic of having the full 12 pan palette and I need to be honest, this is going. So I'm gonna start what's going over here. And this shadow, Lemon Lime, it's very, it's very bright, but it's also like very satin. It doesn't have the sparkle that I like. I'll swatch, I'll swatch Prismatic next to it so I can show you what I'm talking about. Prismatic has that reflect, that sparkle, that dimension. It doesn't look flat. This looks like a flat metallic, but also it you can kind of see here, if you try to layer it up too much, it can get a little chunky because it's a thicker formula. You can see it was poured, like poured in, and you can see the lines of like where it dried. Um, so I think this one is going to go too. I just have better lime greens. Like I have Cleona ones that I think I would u rather use than that one. Is there any other shadows in the JD Glow section that I might not be sure about? I don't think so. I don't know. Let me swatch Blue Avenue. Okay. Hello, Magpie. Let's see if it has the type of sparkle that I'm looking for. Um, I mean, it's very one-dimensional. I'm not often going to put just like a regular blue shimmer on. Let's see. I forgot to bring a thing over here. I'll have to go get one in a second of microfiber cloth. But I have um, Crown Jewel from Cleona down here. And why would I ever use Blue Avenue? when I can use the multi-chrome instead and it's so much more dimensional and so much more fun. Yeah, this is just a regular, just a regular shimmer and that's not quite my style these days anymore. So that can go as well. Is everything else staying? Let me get them organized. Okay, I know Insane and Anomaly are pretty close to each other. I'm going to go get a cloth for my hands. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I cleaned my hands and I got a microfiber towel so we can continue. The rest of these I think are going to stay. Sprung is the one that I'm not 100% sure about. It's a very, no, I think I'm going to keep it. It is a very v hot pink with like a f fuchsia purple flash. I think I'm I'm not ready to let go of that one yet. I know it's not as aesthetically pleasing because it doesn't fill the entire palette up, but I'm being realistic with myself. So that is JD Glow Shadows. This is all of my Adept Cosmetics shadows. You can see the love I have put into a lot of them. This is my ACD5. Um, this is, I believe, ACI6. And um, I've got smaller pans in these up here. But a lot of, like, this stuff, these four, is because this is a really, like, squishy putty formula. So I'm trying to show off the, this is the or, original Plain Jane palette um, and the ACI bundle that was released, I think, shortly after it, um, and then ACD4 and ACD5. So I think I'm going to keep them, but the colors, are there any colors that I don't want? Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave them for now. I'm There's a big old question mark on how I'm feeling. And 
for now, I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave that decision for later me. These are these are where we're getting big. This palette is all lethal cosmetics. <laughs> and as you can see, the majority of my collection is matte. I have a few shimmers. I purchased the After Dark and Velvet Dusk palettes, as well as the Dream Sign palette. That's the nine pan that had like the gray and the yellow together in it. Um, and then I purchased some singles on their own in like some build your own palettes or something like that. So Lethal Shimmer Formula is not my favorite really. Their mattes are like my absolute favorite of all time though. So I'm part of me wants to keep them because I know I really do like Lethal, but I also know that I don't use the let's see. Let me get my depotting tool. And we'll pull one of these out. So this is Synth. This is the blue purple duochrome. The reason that I'm not a fan of Lethal's shimmers you'll probably be able to see yes you can they're chunky they're they don't stick down well if you put them down over glitter glue they can get thick really fast and you might be able to see here again it's it's pretty thick on my finger and it's crumbly in the pan I, be I believe all of the shimmers I have are the older ones because I haven't purchased any shimmers from them since 2020, I believe. So, almost certainly the reason. But I think it is time for most of these to go. I'm going to get rid of Synth. Because I have Cleona Shadows. Like, what? I have Cleona Shadows that blow that out of the water. Let's see about some of these other ones. I know I want to keep lithium because this is just a taupe. It's not trying to be anything more than a taupe, and I love it for that. Um, and I want to keep it. I also am going to keep this champagne. This is Limbo. Just because it's a good champagne, good neutral, brow bone, highlight. And this is Overdrive. This is a like white silver shimmer. And I like this for an inner corner. Um, if I have like a really colorful look or something like that. So I'm going to keep those. But let's see. This green is called Cryptic. This is the same situation as the one from JD Glow. It's just, it's thick, and if I'm wearing a green, I'm. this is not the green that I'm going to go for. It, you can see the streaks and the chunks. Like, that was just one swipe across. I'll go over it some more now. And it's thick. Not saying it's bad, it's just not my preference. I've tried other formulas and I now realize that this formula is not the kind that I like. So Cryptic is also going to go. Let's see, this is Lucid. Hmm, it's a very pretty teal. Hmm. I'm not ready to let go of that one yet. And this is Vertigo. This is like a pale yellow. No. You see how streaky that is? No, no thank you. I'm good. Some of these, like, I don't want this to come across like I'm bad-mouthing anything in particular. I just know what I like. And I'm trying to consume less and reduce the amount of choices that I pick between so I can like love the ass or like love the process of creating looks and building palettes and stuff like that. Like I want to love all of my choices so it's easy to make decisions. I hope that makes sense. Um, I know I don't like this one, Covet. It's like a rose gold. This is this was one of the thing one of the shades from the Velvet Dusk. Um and I think this one was as well. 
this is Revolve. These were, they were trying to call them multi-chromes. <laughs> Um, or trio chrome, I don't even remember, but they just like have some different colored sparkle in them from the base color, but they're very chunky, not my jam. N those will be going, and these two are from the After Dark palette. This is Mainframe and Arcade, and mm, I'm just not, not quite a fan. We, we know that a gold reflect is not for me, so... And then this is Stargaze. This is a really dark blue. Here, let me take these other ones out of my hand. This is a really dark blue. But it's kind of got a deeper base. But I have... Oh. Okay, let's, let's buff it. Let's buff it in. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Okay. So it's got a black base and the shine is brighter. I'm not a huge fan of shades that like gray out. Like you see how it grays on the edges. I'm not a huge fan of shadows that like gray out because I feel like they're, you have to be very careful with them. And sometimes I just want to like play around and do my makeup how I want to. So that one is also going to go. The rest of these mattes are going to stay because I know I love them. I'm sure I have colors that are similar to each other because Lethal is very good at duping themselves. But I really like them. I like having them to build palettes. Some of them have been nicked by the depotting tool, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, I really like my Lethal shadows. If you want a lethal shadow video, let me know. But keep in mind, I will not swatch the matte shadows. I will get up as close as possible to them and show you them in the different lights. But I don't like putting my fingers in matte eyeshadows. Just wanted you to keep that in mind. This last palette, this the big boy, is... A lot of Terra Moons. Here, let me get a let me get an empty palette to put the stuff that's going in. If this doesn't end up being big enough, I will get another one. But I have to I have to push this down. I cannot leave it. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so these are the these are the passes so far. These are the absolute treasure loves right here. This palette is full of stuff. Like to the brim packed full of shadows. It is massive. It is intimidating. I do not like this the way that it is, and I want to change it. So, there's Terra Moons in here. There's depotted shadows. I think there's a couple depotted Lunar Beauty shadows. There is some depotted Sugar Drizzle shadows. I have some Glam Shop. I think I have one Burn of It shadow. Um, some touch, like three touch of Glam. There's some Davina in here. I think that's everything. So it, it's kind of a it's kind of a catch all for round shadows. And I don't know if you you I think you can tell the pans like this one and this one they're depotted from the sugar drizzle palettes. And I know it's such a little thing. They're not filled up quite here. They're not filled up quite all the way, and the pan around the edge is very thick. So let me show you a, a I don't want to say normal, but like a regular shadow. This is a glam shop shadow. You see, you don't see the like rim of the pan from the top, but this one you do. And something about it drives me absolutely bonkers. And is it kind of a, a superficial thing to get rid of shadows for that reason specifically maybe but I don't like how it looks I'm gonna I'm gonna try to figure it out so I'm gonna go 
just grabbing as I see. These are the two that are depotted from, oh, I'm just digging my spatula and stuff. Holy smokes. These two, oh, it's stuck. That's what the issue was. Are depotted from the Lunar Beauty Moonspell palette. Um, I don't know if I'm like the only person that feels this way, but I didn't really like that palette very much. Um, the formula was very difficult for me to work with. These shimmers were the best part of it. Um, and I've had them depotted for months and I haven't used them. So they're going. I don't know if any, like, I don't remember what the names are. So it's like the taupe and the rose gold from the Lun the original Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Palette. Um, let's see. This is a sugar drizzle shadow. I'm going to separate all those out. I know you can't see the entire palette right now, but it'll be fine. I'm being as quick as I can. I got the, I believe the first two palettes that they released in like the cardboard packaging, um, like before they were doing the themed ones or anything like that. I don't remember what they were called but they have a lot of very similar shadows to the Adept shadows. Um, like in the terms of the squishy formula. I think that's all of them. Nope, there's two right here. Okay. Is that all of them now? Nope, that was one as well. I was correct. I think that's everything. Okay, so I got all the Sugar Drizzle shadows out. Let me gather them up together. I'll group by purple and blue, greenish, more purple. Okay, perfect. We've got kind of like a cascading color effect. This is the one that is a dupe for ACD5. It is sugar butter. I'm gonna be keeping this even though the pan pisses me off because you guys saw my ACD5. It is very, it is very, very used and it is not made anymore. So I'm gonna be keeping this one, I know for sure. But... This one is also a dupe for an adept shadow. So is this one. So is this one. And this one. This one. This one. Like I could go out and pull out all of the exact shadows, but I showed you guys my adept shadows very recently. <laughs> like just a little bit earlier. So these are all exactly the same as those and I don't use the adept ones enough and I would rather keep those in pans that I like than these in pans that irritate me. For anyone that was wondering they are not magnetic. I had to take them like pry the glue off of them and then put little magnets on them and label them myself. It was a it was a very time consuming process. So, if you guys were thinking about depotting them. I don't know if their newer palettes are, but the older ones are not. This is just another blue. This one is like a blue-purple. This one's so sticky. Like, I don't know how to describe. I don't want to touch it. It's, it feels like touching a glue stick. Like, if you were rubbing your finger on a glue stick. <laughs> Not, not a fan. These, I just, I have other blue shadows that I like. I'm not going to use those. All of these purples, I'm going to be honest, a lot of them look very similar to each other. Like, there is n barely any difference between those. These two are similar to each other. This one is, this one is different from them. I'll give it that. But they're all very meh. They're all very lackluster. The tone isn't super exciting. The... There's not like a cool shift. There's not extra sparkle that's really exciting. So I don't think I'm going to keep them either. Just because I've had them for like six months. And I haven't really... Ah, I 
haven't really used them at all. So I think that gives me all the information I need to know. Now I'll scoot this back here. I'm looking, looking. This is a shadow from Davina that also has a more raised pan and it's just like a regular blue purple, like a good old blurple. But I just, I'm not, I haven't used it. I don't think about using it. So it is going to go. I feel like the rest of these are special. This, this one from Burnovich, this is X20. It is such a brilliant sparkly teal. Like, let's see, I'll do it on this part of my hand. Like, look at that. It is so beautiful. So I, it's my only Burnovich shadow left. I can't get rid of it. I know it's just a teal, but like it's so spectacular. So <laughs> it shall stay. It does leave quite a bit of a, a presence behind on your skin though. You definitely have to use a pretty strong, like an oil-based makeup remover to get it off all the way. So, I know this is not like organized. I'm definitely gonna need another palette to fit the declutter shadows in. So, let me scoot these out of the way and I'll get that right now. I'll switch everything into this bigger adept one because I don't really use the, the foldy ones anymore. I keep them like for storage, but I don't really use them very much. So I don't think I'll miss it if I just like give this to somebody. So out of my 231 single eyeshadows, I got rid of 28 today. I don't think I'm gonna miss these at all. The lethal ones are kind of a bummer, but I just don't like the formula and it's time for me to be honest about it. Um, I'm happy with this. If anybody wants to see any videos swatching the single shadows that I kept, like my Terra Moons, I own a lot of Terra Moons' offerings. So um, if you wanna see swatches of any stuff, like my iridescence or my Cleona shadows, just let me know. You can like leave a comment or you can DM me on Instagram or anything like that. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, it was super fun and I hope you have a great rest of your day, friend.